Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He weighed in at 152 pounds with a quarter pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with a record of eight wins. No crack that defensive uh, combination. If he can do that and stop uh, challenge tonight. Yo, yeah, absolutely. And there's different types of challenges, you know, uh, when you go through Jerry Martin. Uh, Jerry Martin fought uh, the best light heavyweights of the era, Eddie Mustafa. Jerry Martin was the man who beat James Scott first in Rahway. 100 degrees inside that prison. In the ring in shirt sleeves, 100 degrees. But that's was interesting. But that's it's a different the, time. That's not the only one they have. Of, uh, really two years challenging for the championship of the world at 175. Yeah. What do you think so far? Again, it's a different puzzle that he's faced with here in this uh, opening two minutes. And he got caught. Martin with a good jab as well, flashes that out. You see the punches landed fairly even so. Um, but uh, right now, it's only the first round. It's an eight-round fight. And, uh, this thing's good. For Milnicki. You're right. Round it number two underway. It is a different level in a sense. Yeah, if I'm in the corner, I'm kind of urging Mil You know, whether he had a little power or not, you know, go ahead and start taking it to him right now. Thing now would be about that you've already felt it out for the first round. Yeah. You're saying now would be the time. I would. But so he can take chances. So this is the time for him to take chances. About him. He's defensively responsible. Very strong with that left shoulder and able to get him. Pedigree that goes back a long way. Yeah. And I, I feel he should be using the jab a little bit more. Martin. I agree. I agree. I would just point out that punches landed right. Counter right by Martin and a good hook. Yeah, he got caught with that. Martin point. came to rumble, baby. Little punches landed and thrown, but Martin outlanding Vito Manucci 31 to 17. Uh, you give that to the first two rounds. Uh, first two rounds so far, Brian. Uh, I've given it to uh, James Martin. I just gets for us. And maybe that first round could have gone either way. Again, I'm not scoring it either, but he gave both. Seven, and he's at uh, 52 and a half in this one. Just those few extra pounds can slow you down a little. But right. while he was slightly outclassed in that fight, he was never beaten down, not knocked out. That's right. So with a shot. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I, I think uh, Martin's team is, uh, they prepared him quite well for I mean, that was the first punch he got hit with was because of that low left hand in that first round with that little uh, shot. Martin has better defense right now, but Nicky is kind of a little bit sloppy with his uh, defense. And this seems to be the first time that he's up against somebody that that could actually beat him. He's always seen. you got to break those guys down. You don't want to box with those guys. You have to really put pressure on him. He's coming in, and Milnicki looks like he wants to go to his money shot now. He wants to land a good heart. That he's doing, which he's really just throwing the same punches. He needs to go to the body a little bit. Milnicki's in trouble. I mean, he could lose this fight. You can see it slipping away already. He's not able to have his... It doesn't look good. You don't like it, so they should try to stop that cut. I'm sure they are. Or they cut. Sure. Me up because I want to I make him bleed more. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good look for making things happen because they think he can win this fight. And Martin is able to... Absolutely. Now, here's the thing. Milanecki does... He can't hurt you with one punch. So, well, I, I, no, I was just going to say from the beginning, I said you had your feeling out uh, round and they start putting pressure on him, throwing combinations, not just looking for one counter punch at a time. Well, you know, he's he's trying to outbox him, but, you know, uh, Martin's throwing a more jabs and some body punches. That was a good right hand by Milanecki there. He landed that good left. He's knocked anybody out in his career, but he's not feather dusting out there. You know, he's popping him. He's throwing good. He's landing the punches that judges like to see you know, the effective damaging punches so you know he's an even fight um quite possibly you could have martin up uh, maybe you could have milnecki up as well but some combinations so this round he's do i think this is his best round yeah you're right he put martin on the ropes and he hit him with a good right hand to the body and i think that actually hurt rounds and it's had the better of it so vito milnecki jr uh, i'm not saying he's in trouble now he's warmed up and throwing some good punches Interesting to see that maybe this is the change of equation, Joe Goosen. Well, that's what he needs to do. I, I think really just to cement this. Sometimes you just got to get rough with a boxer that wants to play chess with you. You got a you got a better jab, you got a better right hand, and you're out there to prove it. Absolute point. Yeah, Milanecki landed three of those body shots in a row with that left hand to the liver. So you're right. Well, this round, Milanecki. He is in the... And a nice right hand by Martin as well in there, too. Is there? That's what I mean. Milanecki's got starch on those punches when he throws them. If he lands one solid, Dick. Stay right here between rounds, so don't go anywhere. Because I, uh, this is this is part of the... the... Yeah, they, I, I, it sounds like he's not responding to their instructions for whatever particular...
Take a seat. So you trained him for a fight. You know he's a good student. Yeah. Mark is letting it fly right now. Well, Mark, a prized student, obviously, going through the amateurs as an amateur star. That's uh, right now. He can't afford to rest or even to lose this round, so he's got to pick it up. A couple previous rounds that have spurred him on to get back into this fight and do that. Because he did go down, and Martin picked it right back up. Go ahead, Lennox. Yeah, you know what I was going to say. To the judge. And I will tell you, he's got Mike Rodriguez as a cut man in the corner, who's one of the best in the, in the wood to him in this round. Hard shots to the head, connecting flush. So he hasn't put him to now. Absolutely. I mean, if Martin were to win this fight, it's a huge I upset number one. Our star student has uh, not been listening, has not kept his high guard. And in that seventh round, scored at this point, I have it 67 to 66 for Martin. And, you know, uh, Milnecki needs to have a ball here, even though it seems, again, if you're watching as a fan, I'm thinking, Lennox, you're thinking, uh, it's going to be a close fight, but uh, Martin's definitely leaning on my cards right now. Be uh, fooling yourself right now. If I were in either corner, I'm really, really... Well, if... James Martin has showed a good engine in this fight so far. He has kept it going. He really hit a low, low, and bouncing in front of Milnicki, but never far enough away where he can't touch him with the jab. What Vito, I agree. Vito should be looking for that big right hand. I, he, you know, when, when it comes to... Tommy, I was going to say... Yeah, Lennox, first time... Go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say you have to. A majority decision here. The score totals. Judge of ringside, Max DeLuca. So there's no games. Martin.